Hey everyone, I'm Amanda with Spiro, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about a very important topic, um, which is how to properly clean your Spiro robots and your Little Bits products. Um, we have right here just some common household cleaning products that you can find just about anywhere. Um, the thing to look for right now is um, that it kills viruses and bacteria, that it's actually a disinfecting product. Um, you need some paper towels if you're using a spray, but I'm going to be using the wipes today just for the sheer convenience of them. Um, so let's move over here to Bolt. So Bolt is completely waterproof, um, ideal because you can just wipe, 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 you can spray, spray, spray. Spark Plus is also the same. There's no charging ports or anything, um, holes or anything where liquid could get into. Mini, you do definitely want to pop off the shell and wipe both the inside and the outside of the shell before you let it sit out to dry. You can definitely wipe down the inside of it with a wipe. There's a small port that you need to be mindful of, but you don't want to let too much liquid get in there. The wipes are okay for that as well. Spectrums, wipe it down, get inside. That's where the little fingers go, as you know. And with Rover, the roll cage is probably the most touched part of it. I would definitely use wipes on these just because they do have a little bit of nooks and crannies in there that some excess liquid can get inside. The wipe should be just fine for it. All right, I'm gonna move over to Little Bits now. Um, the one thing to note is that it's very important that everything is unplugged from a power source before um, you start the cleaning process. So for Little Bits, I'm gonna disconnect it from the battery. I'm gonna wipe down the cords. I'm gonna disconnect the bits from the mounting plate. I'm gonna give everything a really good wipe down. And again, let it dry before we put it back into storage. All right, so as long as um, you let everything dry, you put it back in, then you can plug it back in um, so that everything charges up for the next class. Um, these techniques can just be done at home, they can be done at school. The most important thing to do afterward is to wipe down the surface that you've been working at. Um, if you're wearing any gloves, take those off, uh, throw those away, and then thoroughly wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. So we want everybody to stay healthy during this time of year, and if you have any questions, tweet us at, at Spiro, and we'll get right back to you. Thanks for joining us today.